Well, this Halloween is just around the corner and our sweet twos are coming out. Mine's already out, but it doesn't have to be all about the candy. There are some creative and healthy treats to make at home with your family to really get into the holiday spirit. And here to showcase one of her favorite festive dishes is recent Master Chef contestant and Chicago nutritionist and friend of the show, <laughs> Chef Kate Mead. Hello. Hi. Thanks and for having me. Yeah, and today we're it would Felicia just talked about celiac it's and we're perfect. going gluten-free here. Yes, gluten-free. You know, being a nutritionist, I'm yeah. definitely anti-gluten. In, and these are a gluten-free pumpkin spice cupcake. I'm so, so excited you can to try these. Yeah, they ha smell so good. Definitely. Okay, so the last time you were here, you were halfway through the MasterChef competition, and now we can finally announce that you came in fourth, which is so awesome. Yes. How Huge was the end of the show? It was amazing. It was so fun. Leaving, honestly, I was just sad. I was, you know, not going to get to interact with the judges every day. You know, it was so fun being there and having them taste my food and getting to cook for them. So... Leaving was just a, a heartbreak, not because I, I didn't get first place, it was just because I had to go home. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of good stuff came out of oh, it. Oh, so many good things. And I'm here with you now. Exactly. We get to try a bunch of this stuff today. So what are in the cupcakes? So in the cupcakes, we have, um, so gluten is like kind of that stretchy, chewy um, protein that you find in regular cupcakes that gives okay. it like that light batter, right? Well, we're going to use eggs and coconut flour to kind of bind and cook the cupcakes. Okay. So it's pumpkin, pumpkin spice, eggs, coconut sugar, coconut flour, um, a few other things like baking powder, baking soda to help them rise and stuff. They but still look fluffy. Yeah, they, and they're super, super moist. You won't forget, like, you won't be like, oh, this is a dry, chalky cupcake. They're yeah. really, really good. And then how long do they take to bake and what temperature do we so bake So, you know, cupcakes usually take like 15 to 18 minutes. These take 40 to 50 minutes because there is no gluten in them, right? That's we okay. we the have to really will cook the eggs. At the house. Yes, exactly. Oh, they smell so good. It's like, I wish you guys could smell this. Um, and then for our frosting, we just use butter and a little bit of coconut milk. Ooh. Um, Which also smells good. Yeah, and, and you're not using heavy cream, so it's it's not dairy-free because butter's dairy, but um, at least it's a little bit lighter. And then just a little bit of powdered sugar. Okay, and so you said we bake these for about 40 minutes. Yep. Um, but what temp are we baking at? 350, like a normal baking temp. Um, and then for the frosting, to play along with the pumpkin spice, we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, perfect. A little bit of vanilla. Which I love the smell of. Oh, my gosh. And this was a vanilla mm. bean paste. Paste? So, yeah. So it's got, like, a little bit of, like, vanilla Looks bean, like, uh, specks in there. Okay. Yeah, and then you just use this anti, or antique. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> antique mixer. I like this one better because the other ones, I always spray it over the walls. <laughs> exactly. This is slow. Slow like the grandma's, right? Okay, cool. And so while we kind of finish this up, Jordan and Felicia are going to come join us because we have some decorating yeah. to do, which is the fun part, I'm right? going to play Gordon, and you guys are going to be the chefs. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, You're prettier than Gordon, though. <laughs> but it's not I'm going to be a tougher judge. You guys better say, decorate you, I, some I, good well, you're nicer than yeah, Gordon, right? So. Maybe. You never know. Um, so then you take your frosting, right? Okay. And we're going to show you a quick DIY, like what you can do to make your own piping tip at home. So I've always wanted to know how to do this. You take a little food coloring. You see, I kind of set you guys yeah. up here. So oh, you don't have to do go. too much work. But you basically just squirt a few drops in there and just like mush it around oh. like you would like a Play Doh or something like you would make when you were little, right? Yes. And Perfect. then. It looks like slime. Keep, yeah, don't get too excited, guys. <laughs> okay. We need to focus. Mm -hmm. um, no, and then we just cut the little tip off like oh, this. Oh, good, because I don't own any of those Just the things. tip, everybody. I'll, I'll just the tip, Jordan. Thank you very much. And then you just go like this. You can go back and forth. You can go orange over it. Ooh. Um, and then for decorating, you know, we have some unhealthy options, like, um, you know, those little chocolate candies. But we also have fun raisins. Are these the turtles? No, they're uh, pumpkin Reese's. Oh, that's even more dangerous. Yes. Um, and then, like, some walnuts. You could do a little bit Cookies. more, like, pumpkin spice on top. But, yeah, that's here, cool. let me let me cut your, cut the your bags. Let me cut the tip for you. There you go. And then you can get to decorating. Yeah. And okay. I also show, like, I made some little donuts, too, you, cool. if you don't like Wait, frosting. Too. Oh, oh, sorry, girl. Here, do you want that green? Here. No. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> spicy. Oh, you take that green. This is mine. Alicia, yeah. these match your outfit. Girl, you better get that from oh. over here. <laughs> I guess it's I'll decorate a donut. <laughs> awesome. Okay, and so while we decorate this, can we talk Master Chef auditions because um, the next season is coming up, right? Yes. Um, there's casting. You can go to mas uh, it's masterchefcasting.com if you want to. 
audition. I highly recommend it. It was a great experience, so much fun, and so like someone I said, who's done it, like what what's something that you can tell them that will help them get on the show during their audition? <laughs> Really just have a lot of confidence and have fun. You know, you, the judges want to see skill, but they also want to see you doing what you love, you know? So if you have the passion and the energy to show them that you love to cook, then you're definitely meant to be there. Okay, did I win? There's Mine says jam. <laughs> oh! Oh and it has a heart on it. You know it what? has a heart. How about, Mine is oh, I knew you were going to use the Reese's. Place. Oh, Look my it. goodness. Okay, while I clean this up, <laughs> big thanks to Chef Kate. It's way doper than everybody. For this delicious what recipe with us. I don't know. And for this one and so many others, visit her website at <laughs> kateskitchenfit.com. And if you're interested in home cooking and would like the chance to be America's Next Master Chef on Fox, Season 9 is currently casting. So visit masterchefcasting.com for more information on how to audition. I don't think I'm going to be going there. Yeah, me I don't think I'm ready. Maybe not with this I one. <laughs>